In this video, you're going to learn how to add cinematic black bars to your videos using Filmora. So the first method we can use to achieve this effect should only be used when you don't have any plans to animate the bars coming in or going out. To get started with this method, drag your footage into your timeline, head over to the effects tab, drop down the included menu, then drop down the overlay menu and select frame. Then look for an effect called Cinema 21 by 9, grab it and drag it onto your clip. To adjust the height of the bars, double click on your clip and you have a slider right here called border height which allows you to increase or decrease the size of your bars. The alpha slider allows you to adjust opacity but that's not something I recommend using often. Now this second method is a bit more advanced but it should be used anytime that you're trying to animate the black bars as it's really the only way to do so. So to get started, right click on your clip, open crop and zoom and navigate to the pan and zoom tab up here. Now grab any one of the corners from this blue box, which indicates the end frame. And once you see everything around it get darker, go down to this ratio drop down menu and select custom. From here, grab one of the corners and just drag it over to the edge of the screen and then adjust it vertically to determine how high you want your black bars. We're going to want to adjust the second corner vertically so that the two line up perfectly. If you've done this right, you should only see a blue plus symbol. From here, you can go and hit OK. If you scrub through your footage, you should see the animation play through. Now, the issue with this is that this animation is way too long. It's nearly 20 seconds long, and I want it to take about two seconds, maybe. To achieve this, I'll place my playhead where I want, and then I'll click the split clip button. And as you can see, if I scrub through this first clip, it plays the animation all the way through. But the issue now is that the second clip also restarts the animation and plays it on its own time. To fix this, we're going to want to right click our second clip, go back to crop and zoom, and press this button right here, which will swap the start and end points. Now, if we head over to the crop tab, you'll see that it defaults to the start position, hence the reason we swapped them, and we can simply press OK. Now that we've done that, if we go to the beginning and playback, we should see that the black bars animate in and stay for the duration of the clip in its end position. Now that you know how to add black bars using Filmora, you need to nail down the other aspects of editing as well. Start that by watching these videos and subscribing.